people are welcome to and tell them five of the until I'm at finishes. Back to 2013, I'm at. Um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I've sort of already done this, well, started to work on this. Um, I'm gonna boot into this USB, the UFI, UEFI NTFS. You can't really see it, but whatever. And this is a Windows 11 installer USB. I'm going to be trying to reinstall Windows and um, go for Windows 11 and go for Pro and not like Education N or whatever I was doing. And see if like Fortnite and stuff crashes. So this is Windows 11, which may be you know, not a good choice. To be fair, you can. I don't know if it's still where it's on newer versions of 11 but on like older versions you could like revert to the Windows 10 taskbar but I don't know if that's possible or like I don't know 23H2 or whatever so yeah just wait for this uh. I haven't had that happen. I've like beat into this USB on here like twice already. I just wasn't able to record it. Yeah, so I've messed about with like the messing about partition, the thing I've put it as FAT32 and not NTFS. So I've changed it to NTFS. It's like 250 gigs, so let's wait for it, I guess, again, whoa, at least this is USB 3, yeah, it's a second iMac to have USB 2 and 3, um, 2012 introduced USB 3, by the way, and that introduced, you know, that was the slim unibody redesign. So yeah, seeing a bit, that's more like it. I'll resort to piracy, so I don't need to worry about that. Pro, yes I agree. Um, yes, oh it's actually 116 gigs. See how long this takes. Um, What's the time? Um, it's 19.06 and see when it finishes. Why does it keep on doing that? I don't know, but see you when it finishes. Um, this is a thing. It's, um, I don't think it's properly installed in Bevo. I don't know what exactly it's installed, but yeah. I think it's still in the process of Installed it. Okay, so it's twenty-three. Um, I don't have internet. Continue with limited set. And we go. I'm a bit confused. I'm, it's, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to not be an upgrade, and yet it seems to have upgraded. What? Which sort of might have defeated the original purpose. I'm just saying. To be fair, this is actually relatively quick, considering. Also, this computer doesn't meet the system requirements in an, in the, another way because I'm pretty sure Windows 11's system requirements requires an SSD and this doesn't have one yet. So yeah, there's that. See how long this takes. And here we go. Yeah, okay, that looks like it's a separate install but it's like um, use some stuff from thing like the Clyde Bro account. 
which is uh, interesting. At the very least, I've got to connect it to Wi Fi. Apparently, this is iMac 14, 2, which is funny because I believe my 2007 iMac is um, 7, 1, which is you know, half. Also, this has got sharp window corners. Yeah, interesting. I don't even need of the bridge glaze edge. Oh god, I really don't like this thing. This PC, yeah, big camp uses like grow and joys of hard drive. Presumably, that's the problem. Uh, you got a lot. Of, you you got to admit that like, Windows Eleven does look ugly. I guess I'll do it from here. I just want to play Fortnite. The main reason I have Windows on here and I need to connect in the internet still. I am so distracted, I forgot. Welcome back to the 2007 iMac. So I've taken it apart um, and it appears my fee might actually be correct as to why there's no backlight. These seem to be loose and so did these. So, yeah, and also it's an absolute dust fest in here. Like, seriously, what is wrong with me? Don't touch that. It literally is a warning. Um, okay, me being an idiot, it's been caught on camera. Not the worst thing. But now I understand what on earth happened. Don't worry, it was very subtle. It wasn't that major. Just a little shock. Um, probably unplugging it would have probably helped. Because I've just realised it's not... Actually, yeah, it's, um, it's still plugged in. Oh. Yeah, helpful tip when taking apart computers, unplug them. Still won't touch it. Looks like that's where the CPU is, guys. Good to know. Um, sorry, I'm a bit shaky. I'm just a bit I'm just scared. Um, I also have just noticed there's two fans. I've been inside a 2007 iMac before, by the way. So this isn't particularly new. And, um, um, yeah, so let's grab the... SSD, if I can see it. Uh, so it's still connected the screen with that whatever that cable is, annoyingly, just make my life more inconvenient. Um, okay. And got it. Okay. So, let's put in this fresh hard drive. I will go back to the 2013. I might can say, um, after I've done all of this. Um, it probably, I might go more in depth with the D-Dust once, um, what's it called? Um, I do the CPU upgrade which will happen eventually. Um, let's try and get all of the cables in and hopefully I will have a working screen with the working backlight. See you in a bit. Okay, um, moment of truth, let's see what happens. I'm gonna plug it in. Well, it's already plugged in. <laughs> Look 
looks like my fee was correct. Well, it's not showing the Apple logo worryingly. Well, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my god. Okay, so this has already been upgraded from no hard drive. Oh, it's beated into um, Tiger, weirdly enough. Um, should I try and connect my magic keyboard and magic mouse? Is he not showing the dock and stuff because there's no mouse and keyboard? Hang on, I'll go downstairs and grab them. Okay, so here I am. Let's flick the switch on. Um, and mice has been found. And... Um, updating one name. Yes. Um, now it's searching for keyboards. I think this keyboard needs a new battery, by the way. Yeah, I think this needs a new battery. Which is weird because, uh, oh, no, it says one found. Um, yeah, okay. Um, okay, zero, two, six, one, one, four, seven, nine. Wow. Futuristic technology. Oh, oh my god. To be fair, this is the most futuristic tiger setup possible with my keyboard that wasn't released yet. I don't think, I don't think they had a Bluetooth keyboard until the Magic Keyboard. I know they had like the wireless Mighty Mouse, um, but I don't have that. Um, so now what I'm going to do is change to the universal access and that's just inverting the screen, it's just curious, I was expecting it to be inverting the screen and turn it down. <laughs> Let's go! I might... Keep these keyboard and mouse up here, by the way. Just so you know. But, oh my God, this is so nice. Being able to see what I'm capable of doing. I might not keep fully assemble this, but, oh my God, I'm, I'm happy. Even though it was just someone being an absolute idiot with this iMac. That was the cause of the main issue. But I'll probably still get the mini DVI adapter because I do probably will end up planning on using this iMac properly. Um, but yeah, I'm happy. I'm very much happy. So I'll see you in a sec where I've got it assembled and put back up where it was. And I've got it fully reassembled. I did not put two of the screen screws in. Um, but I cannot be bothered to go back in. I'm going to go into mounting lion this time. Oh, get this off. There you go. Got it off. Look at this. I mean, the, screen's, the screen needs a clean, of course. But, um, yeah. On mounting line, the mouse isn't pixelated, which honestly doesn't surprise me, but whatever. Um, so system preferences, 
not start disk. Um, being accessibility. Okay, yeah, it's called universal access and tiger button here. It's called accessibility. Do guy, does it not have Bluetooth? Yes, it does actually. And yeah. Oh, this is so nice. I got working. I'm Mac. Let's go. I'm gonna move it up to the drawers. Move this out of the way as well. And let's get to work. Gee, it looks like I will have to take off and disassemble this because of the bomb bit's not on properly, which probably means I can't put the RAM port on. So, yeah, there's that. Actually, I've just noticed that's not good. There's actually a line on the screen. Don't know if that's me, my dad, shipping, or the original, well, the previous owner's cause for that. But, look at that. Beautiful. I will upgrade this to 6 gigs of RAM. Don't worry about that. Um, but yeah. Yes. Let's go. I'm happy. Okay, so I'll give some updates on this. So I've not got Wi-Fi drive installed. I'll unplug the Ethernet as so I'm gonna not use it anymore. Um for now. I'm fake this to my 2007 iMac, as you can probably guess. Um yeah, so I've got Fortnite running, played a couple of games, didn't do particularly well. Um it works, it runs quite well. I get about over sort of about hundred with performance mode. Do I turn this off or it's Windows? No, actually I think I turned it off. Um Yeah, so it works. Get about hundred performance, and then I get about seventy using like low direct text eleven ish. Yeah. So, yeah, so I'm going to probably go back to my 2007 on Mac now. So I think I might try and install another version of Mac OS. Mm, what's, what version shall I install? Tricky question. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Half the tiger. What do I have on this DVD? Will I actually use that DVD? No, probably not. That's going to be a last resort. Um, I'm going to actually be using my Mac OS installer hard drive thing that I've got set up for this. And then I'll keep on going until I get up to El Capitan, I guess. So, yeah, I'm going to need to get this stand for my mouse um not mouse light because otherwise you'll be stuck in darkness and that's not good oh god get in stupid thing I'll do this off camera okay so um I've got my Permac G5 quad down there in um, target disk mode. Got the Mac OS installing disk thing in here. And there's Leopard installer. Let's go. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to have a Tiger Intel installer. Oh God, it's so dirty. I do need to clean it up, let's be real. But hey, at least it's now way better functionality wise than what it initially was poor 2011 MacBook Pro that underneath the 
Power Machu for being stripped of its parts. First, I stole the RAM, and then I've stolen the SSD. It is what it is, and it wants the mouse to connect. It should connect. It should connect. It should connect. It should connect. There you go. And here's Leopard. There should already be partition for this. I'm going to be doing minimal install. Oh my god. So many words. And there's where I want it. Customize. I don't want X11. I don't want language translations. I don't want additional fonts. Fonts. And I don't want printer drivers. And apparently this still needs six gigs. Ridiculous. Okay, so it's ten past. Let's see how long this takes. Six minutes. Seven minutes. Question mark. Looks like it. That's about the same as the last time I did this. I think I did it. SSD to SSD and it took about 7 minutes. This is hard drive. Installers on a hard drive. And this is SSD and it's linked with FireWire 800. So, well, it looks like it's going to get stuck on here for a while. Typical. Oh, no, never mind. Let's go. Start for some reason, Intel isn't doing anything, even though it should have right there. Um, yeah, okay, here we go. I might not jump directly to El Capso just because it's kind of boring doing these supposedly ancient versions of Mac OS. Like, you know, I've got Chromium Legacy on Mountain Lion. God, this is a bit slow. Here we go. Yes. Oh, the blue line's really noticeable. This is what I think of with this iMac, not Tiger, you know? I'm just saying. To be fair, at least they ended these macOS intro videos with a blast. Uh, come on. Why is it so slow to connect into a computer? Oh, how does your brain connect to your body? I think that's the lyrics. Something like that. Connect, you piece of rubbish. Should I turn it on, turn it off, or watch it connect right away now? Turn it off. That's like typical. Ugh. Yeah, this is so janky wireless. Just saying. It's a pretty good reason why it was very uncommon. Well, quite uncommon. I don't know how. I mean, it was just turn it on, turn it off. Probably it. Probably the mouse. Yes, it is. Let's go. And that's got the keyboard. 
Maybe it was a thing back then. Anyway, it's the only six countries that matter. Um... Uh, connect to Wi-Fi, I guess, because I actually haven't connected to Wi-Fi on here at all. I took a photo of the password earlier, so I'll refer to that. No. No. Why on earth do I ask you for that stuff? It's worse than what Microsoft does these days. Well, technically not. You can very easily just skip it on here. And they probably, I think they got rid of it completely. But yeah, just saying. Irritating. I don't think the webcam is actually connected. Uh, I thought it wasn't. Her and then it proceeds to freeze. Maybe like the microphone, it's not connected. <laughs> Come on, you absolute piece of rubbish. Uh. Oh, there we go. Now it's redirected away from there. Yeah, not do that again. Is that it after time zone? Oh, this is bad. If this isn't like some weird issue. And here we go. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> that was very not noticeable when I play background. <laughs> Come on, why is it, why is it always, I didn't like, gone really bad after... The webcam step, the profile picture, user picture, whatever you call it. But there you go. Now shall I shut up about time machine? Shut up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm coughing and laughing at the same time. Shut up. Okay. Time to go and try and get Snow Leopard, I guess. And see how that goes. Okay, so I've got Sorbet Lip. Mm, but not Sorbet. Snow Leopard Installer. Um, downloaded and mounted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through five layers of hell. Um... Yeah, so it looks like I've already got two stores mounted. Um, just go into what is the one restore is my first place to say installer because it's on that drive. And oh, let's try again. Do this. No. Um. Just go select the image. Oh, welcome to hell. By the way, the scroll thing does a scroll gesture. Doesn't work to make things worse. Come on. Oh, 
I'm in Linux. I'm in my Linux mode right now. Oh. Be easier if I was laying down. Um, this might say resource busy or something. In which case, I'll, I'll prepare for that. The simple solution is, of course, to unmount it. I had this little problem with the Tiger installer on. It's in use and cannot be ejected. Please let me. Eject now, yes it can. Um. What does it what does it not like? Um. Oh, it's there. It's thinking about a bit in the bottom left corner. There we go. And password. Woo. Uh, oh, I don't think I've actually ever managed to install um, Snow Leopard indiv individually, um, like without upgrading from Leopard, which is a problem. I don't really want to. Do leopard and then, um, um, what's it called? And then go to snow leopard. I'd rather just be re have the install. I might also do a video where I just upgrade through every version of Mac OS. I could try and mount it, but I really don't think that's gonna help. Oh, let's get info, see if that's downloaded. No. That says it's only one gig. Okay, so I want the one with the dash one, which is the top. Because the other one's like not downloaded properly. Um. And hopefully something I can do will get it to work. Oh, is it now working? Typical. Okay, so Snow Leopard's now hopefully on the install drive. So go away, software update. Screw you. Not now. Um, just close light. Just fly a bit so it's going to cause issues. And now restart. There we go. Looks like it's going to do stuff now. So it's finished up fully past. Um, which is ridiculous. Let's be real. I know it's you know like a full install, but it's just ridiculous how long it takes. Or more like I'm just a really impatient person. That's the reality. Also, by the way, I found a couple of screws that were missing um, underneath the glass bit, and not the bit that holds the screen behind that. So, that's something. And, let's put on, turn down the volume. Um, oh well. Why do I have to put the FM key right there? It's where the control key is normally. Uh, 
Oh, shush. Okay. Oh, the base is just full enough. Oh. I just need to clip on stuff. I'm surprised it's found the keyboard. I'll just say that. Supposed to do the. I think you're supposed to do the thumb bit first. Oh, it's done. Just make sure that I can't get that stupid thing. Uh, I can't do this one handed. There we go. I never remember the difference. Oh yeah, it is. It's got a pound symbol. <laughs> I think I'm gonna stop for the night with the um two thousand with with the, um this um Does not connect to the internet. And I'll wait that to just hit continue. And I'll go with this. Okay. And this is pretty good. Take a while. It's a bit weird. It takes a while. Considering SSD, just saying. Come on. For some weird reason, I keep on putting the, my phone there and then the mouse on top of it. I, I don't even normally use the mouse on the left. I use it right handed on the right, you know? So I have no clue. I mean, it's pretty because I have an awkward angle. But, yeah. Oh, look at that. It looks beautiful. Let's be real, the snow leopard wallpaper is better than um, leopards. The colours just look nicer. Boom, here we go. Oh my god, it's over a gigabyte. Wow. Absolutely ridiculous. So it's net it's now, you know, a bit later. Um and going full on with Lion. So the installer's supposedly done on my fisheries with Lion. That's the only problem. But Let's ignore Lion's potential issues. Um, find Lion. There's Lion. Look, two of them, in fact. Um, image. Download. Which, um, still Mac OS X. Um, it's not done anything. Okay, so do that. And then go for it. There we go. Vertically done. So type in my password and hopefully it does stuff. After some fiddling, it's scanning, which is something. Still has the opportunity to just break, but it's something. It looks like it's doing something. I had to manually press copy again because it's some reason it didn't automatically do that hopefully nothing goes wrong so theoretically oh, the lion installer should be there hopefully it's like a bootable thing um i don't see a lion It'd be 10.7 i might have to Either do some research, see what I can do, um, or uh, 
um, my mind's gone blank, or um, go and get like Snow Leopard installed on the line partition, and then upgrade one of those, or I could go on the saw. So, so, did I say saw, but I meant Snow Leopard partition. And you know what? That's what I will be doing now. And I'll see you in a sec, I guess. <laughs> it's frozen for a bit, but it's now unfrozen. Uh, can I get into the right left line? Installer. That's Mountain Lion. Piece of shit. Um. I'm an idiot. Um. Um. Install OS 10. What's this? This might be the lion. Oh, come on. Why is it doing this? I've seen a bit, I guess. Okay, so let me select. Oh. It wants Mac OS X installed. Oh, for God's sake. Could I do a quick... I don't know. Oh, do research. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna have to install Snow Leopard again. Do I need to actually boot it for the first time? Or can I get away with not getting past setup? Oh, well, actually, I will need to because um, it's 10.6.3. Um, none requires to be 10. 6.6 .6, which is annoying really annoying so very annoying there might be an installer that I missed for Snow Leopard that's 10.66 or newer maybe but I don't know if that's really worth my time I'll just be quicker to install and this time I will try and remember minimal install Also, I'm very annoyed because I've looked at getting DDR2 RAM from CX, and the delivery, I think it was for the ra this RAM, I, I did have a couple of bits of RAM, was 590. The RAM itself, for two sticks of two gigs, you know, 16, uh, six, six, seven megahertz DDR2 sodium, 75 pH, so it'd be 150 for that. And then the delivery just... <laughs> the price. Ugh. Okay. So I, just, I guess I've got to wait for this. Exciting. But not really. In the earth, do they have to make it scroll in like this? To make my life more annoying. Lying. Um, Customise. Come on. I don't want all of this crap. Simple. Here we go. Time is, I don't know what the time is. Um, I can't really check. Unless I go up here. Ignore that. It is 55, 6.55 p.m., 18.55, whatever. Also, I'm not sure I said, but there's now a red line on the screen, um, which isn't very good, but it is what it is, I guess. Still better than what it was initially. There's that. Or I've just been really ignorant and have not noticed the red line. Which honestly I feel like might have been a possibility. Ugh. 
Oh, massive jump there. It's probably won't take that long. Probably take less than 10 minutes, theoretically. But yeah, see you in a bit, I guess. Okay, so it's done. By the way, this mouse is the wireless stuff is absolutely annoying with the MacOS installers. Just saying. Um, by the way, the time is. I need to check. The, the time is. Yay! Ignore me. Being up. Absolutely. Yeah. But the time is 19.10. Yeah, it took. A, oh. oh my god. Why is everything going wrong with that ladder when I film? Almost fell backwards right then. In case you did realise what happened. But yeah. Well, here we go. For the third time. Hopefully the last time. Oh my god, I've just realised the Oh for God's sake. I've just realised that's a ridiculous massive waste of time what I've just done. I could have just cloned the drive, the the, the snow leopard install onto the line partition then Okay, screw that. I'm doing what I just said because I'm not in the mood to wait nine years for the software update. Uh, make sure to option down. Keyboard, please connect. Thank God it connected. Um, I want Snow Leopard. I think there was a double space in Tiger between the 10 and the Tiger. Just saying. Oh, I'm so annoyed. That I just wasted a bunch of time. One thing I could have done very easily. And probably quicker, let's be real. Actually, this is a blighted um, snow leopard installed, to be fair. But uh, I think the point still stands. I just wasted a bunch of time. Um, yeah, there is a double space in Tiger. Not the point. Lion. Yep. Yeah. And password, and hopefully this all works. Or watch it resource busy me. Please don't, because I've just realised that might happen. Okay, fingers crossed. I've made two billboard partitions, dot disk. Um, 10, 6, 8. Uh, 10, 6, 8, yes. Okay, cool, cool. What I'm going to do, though, is rename this so um go up here um what's going on here the finder uh, what's with me today dropping these like nothing it's there for some weird reason. Well, one of them is. Shouldn't really matter which one I end up renaming. I don't know why they're not appearing on the desktop. Um, edit. I don't know. Okay, fine. Now I'll go to the Lion installer, which is... Blah, 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 blah. Here, no. That's the wrong one. Ugh. It's called Install OS 10. Just remembered. Blah, blah. Um. S 
no leopard. And password. So it seems that I'm a ninja and I just wasted a bunch of time. This is an installer for the, well, it was an installer for the installer. Now this is the installer for the installer. Don't ask. So I didn't even need to copy all my stuff over. Um, I've put it scrolled past it. Uh, there it is. And I've, had, I've set the time back to August 2013, which should work, supposedly, because certificate nonsense expired, blah, 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 blah. It, fingers crossed, it works. I'm not certain this will actually properly work, but there's hope. Hope holds in self. I don't. No, the rest of the words I am saying. Uh, now I've got to look up for this error. Whoa. I think I've gone around it. Basically, what I had to do was click on the line installer. Show package contents. Um, um, yeah, so like this show package contents, contents, and um, blah 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 blah. Shared support and install ESD.gm. DMG is apparently what you want, and it seems to be doing something. So there's that. That's more like it. An installer for the, the, the lion. In theory, I could just do all of this on like Leopard or something. Or by actually Mountain Lion, I guess. Okay, now I've remembered this, um, hopefully it'll be much easier. So, show package contents, I think the one was called shared contents. Something like that. Um, hit the file and blah, 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 blah. Okay, but seriously, why? Why have they made an installer for an installer? What's wrong with them? Okay, this is more like it, and it's not connected my mouse. Woo. But look at the, the background. Mmm, tasty. Yeah, oh, I just hate this so much. What on earth did Mac, uh, uh, Apple think? Ah, oh, yes, this is a good idea. Have an installer for an installer. What on earth? Just saying. And, yeah. Uh, lion. Why can't... Why is customised grey out? I don't know. Right out. Um, yeah, so I'll see you when it's done. And what's the time, you might be asking? Well, the time is 26 past 8. It's very quick. In fact, let's look at the time. It is 34, and it was 26, I believe. Yeah. I think it might be because it probably was updating the Snow Leopard, which is why it's so quick. But even then, still pretty good. Um, considering I think, you know, Lion's supposed to have way more features. Um, yeah, also it's going to be weird because I've not installed a macOS without a... Uh, Intro video in a little while. Probably last time was December, just to get you an idea of how long ago that was. But of course, after this, it'll be Mavericks because I've already got Mountain Lion, then Yosemite, and then El Capitan to finish it off until I get the CPU upgrade. Okay, there's now another installing screen. Screw you. 
Uh, <laughs> is my mouse connected? No, of course not, because I don't know. Uh, I hit the other mouse. Yeah, by the way, I've got that mouse plugged in, just in case it decides to stop working in occasions like this. Okay, now it works. Whoa. Okay, so you even more time. Whoa. How many times does it need to install an installer? Although this is probably for real, I'm just saying. I really should try and take this part. I need to find a suction cup because I can't see it. I haven't seen it for a little bit since last night, basically. But yeah, come on. I want this done and dusted. Finally complete, it's um, 07, um, 2107. Um, yeah, God. That took forever. In fact, so long that I fell asleep, had to make them and done some stuff. Nah, that's pretty much all I've done. Fell asleep and have a magnum. I still probably have a bit of making them mess, yeah. Bruh. And I've got to do this three more times. God help us all. Oh, there's the wallpaper. Anything else want to appear? Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm so bored, I'm tapping my bed with my fam. Oh, I found the suction cup. Where have I put it? It's in there. Yeah, I won't try. Still need to clean up this. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, since it's an upgrade, it's taking me straight to the screen here. Funnily enough, I see the iTunes is stuck. Come on! What even needs to? That icon. I can't think what that icon is. Uh, uh, shut up. No. Yes, I know how scrolling works. Oh, there's the setup assistant. Anyways. Lion, 10.7.5 to be exact. Mm. If I go and open iTunes, will it be? Will the icon change? Probably. Because it's currently got the iTunes 10 icon. And I upgraded iTunes on. Snow Leopard 211, so let's see what's that all about. Come on. Also, I believe this is the first Mac OS that can actually get to iTunes 12, which is the flat iTunes. Yes, I won't download iTunes. Yes, come on. this 
be slow. I know, like, um, Lion's supposed to be quite a, sort of like the Windows Vista. But, you know, this is 2011, so I don't know what you call it. Maybe it's more like a Windows 7, although, um, with Windows 8, I mean, but my Windows 8 wasn't hated for it being buggy and slow. It's hated because of the start screen, mostly, so I don't really know what you'd call this. Because I think Leopard's more considered the Vista of Mac OS. But, Oh well. So this should be, I believe this has like schematic stuff. Oh yes. <laughs> yes, look at that. Oh, beautiful. It's not, it's not in the dock. I don't think it is. Did it not exist in, was it added in Mountain Lion? But anyways, yeah, beautiful. This is the Scamorphic Mac OS part one and then part two came out and then the part three really didn't exist. It was more like going back to the pre-line style with weirdness, weird iOS 7 elements sort of sprinkled in. That's called Mavericks. And then they completely iOS 7 it in with Yosemite. But yeah. Of course there are some really weird visual differences. It's like the you know, icons are still really different um, with iOS and macOS. Or iOS 10 as it's still called. It doesn't, the, natively this doesn't even support any versions. Um, called Mac OS, you know, lowercase one word. Like lowercase as in the Mac bit and then, you know, capital OS. No, that was... Was that Sierra? I think it was Sierra. I'm pretty sure. I think High Sierra. High Sierra definitely was Mac OS. I, I can tell you that. But yeah. Cheap sign. I've never really used Lime before. I probably used it back in the day, in like an, in the Apple Store, but that's probably all I've really used it. If I'm being honest, there we go. Impatient little screen thing there. I'll see you in a second, I guess. There we go. Don't ever do that again. Shall I try the Mavericks? I've not even gone to the flat Mac OS. In, I'm still not really that near the flat Mac OS. Also, this is iCal. Also, this has got Launchpad, probably one of the best features. Um, it's so weird seeing iChat on here. You know, it's so weird seeing all of these stuff. Also, stickies shouldn't be like that. Looks like I've accidentally pushed in my pants drawer. Cool. Oh, this has got Podcast Caption, Podcast Publisher. That's cool. So weird. I'm used to not having um, missing the escape key, but this actually has it. So there's that. Um, what I'm gonna do is actually go into Safari. In fact, I can use Chromium Legacy. I've just remembered because I'm pretty sure that is um. Oh, come on. Come on. Why does it lag so much sometimes? It's like the RAM or the CPU is starting to die or something. Or the motherboard. I really hope not because, you know. But, um, yeah. 
I should probably rename install Mac OS. Uh, nightmare this sometimes. Oh, now it's worked. Um, actually, that's yeah, completely useless. I think the line installs already there. Um, anyways. Um, what is it? One it is Mountain Lion applications, applications, um, and Chrome. Um, question mark. Why is it not there? Oh well, forget about it for now, I guess. Time to, oh my God. What do you say? Look, the pixels. The pixels. In fact, you have to do it in search. Um. OS 10 Mavericks. I wanted to get the completion. There we go, installer. Yeah, so let's try and get the installer all sorted. Actually, I've, is the time still set to 23? No, it's actually set to 2024. I don't want Yosemite, I want Mavericks. It's an archive.org. It's going to take like nine years. Unless it's the installer for the installer, which is only like 20 megs. Well, I think that actually still contains the full installer. Confusingly. Safari, I hate you. Basically, phone rail right storage, blah, 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 blah. Um, but the conclusion is, I hate this, this or I hate Lion, okay, that's what we need to know. Um, I should probably just go into Mountain Lion, let's be real, that's probably a bit, the best solution, so stop disk. Um, there we go, because it's useless. That's what we need to know. Supposedly, I could get Chrome and Egg State, but yeah. It's so absolute rubbish, it's not even worth doing. That's how bad it is. So, yeah. Seriously though, this is an absolutely useless answer because it's not asking, they're not asking for Yosemite Oil Catan, they're asking for the Mavericks installer. You absolute annoying person. Um, this probably doesn't work because the app staff for these is currently down. And I don't know if it's still actually on the app store. I feel like it might be removed. I, I could try it in the archives, but it's going to be slow. Looks like I can find an old version of like... Um, Bit torn or something. Yeah, this is 5.6 gigs. Kill me. <sighs> I guess I could try your 17. Um, turn your 17. Trying to avoid archives.org. Web browser. Yeah, okay. Here we go, actually. Oh, yeah, there's no Mavericks. Why is there no Mavericks? I don't even get why. Because surely you go 17 and... Oh, well. 
I'll get El Capitan as well. While I'm here. Um, um, is it not in downloading? Is it downloading, but was it like not got enough storage or something? I might not have enough storage. Oh, it's called uh, install iOS 10, just to be really annoying. If I drag that to the bin and empty, will it now magically work? Well, it's not. On earth is the other mouse not enabled, the other mouse button. <coughs> we should be. Let's look on Safari. Oh, some some simultaneous downloads just don't work on. Quote me on legacy, and I'm just not aware of that. That just seemed to solve it. Oh, okay, sure, that works. I'm good to Yosemite, and then I guess I'll do El Capitan after that, and then I'll do Mavericks last, um, just because different source which I'm using Internet Archive instead of the Apple thing. Apple because Apple doesn't provide it for some bizarre reason. Like they some for some reason provide Mountain Lion and Yosemite, which don't really make any sense because no Macs were dropped on Yosemite and Mountain Lion. I mean same price for Mavericks but Clearly, they're not going by that logic. Um, yeah, so I've got this directly on the SSD, and I've overwritten the, I think it was the Tiger install partition that was on the actual SSD itself. Um, so I'm just waiting for it. It's got the line loading bar, so I'm guessing Yosemite introduced the loading bar um so yeah makes sense i guess um yeah not much else to say really um yeah so i guess i see you in a bit mouse cursor there didn't really look very flat and it's like they didn't bother replacing that for like the installer with the spinning wheel but I don't know, it's clearly not the same version. And it's like they mislabeled this, which would be really weird, but I mean, clearly not us, the Yosemite logo there. So I have no clue. I guess they just didn't bother updating it for Yosemite, or the installer bit at least. To be fair, this is like facing the screen, but flattened. Um, on of what happened online, so oh yeah, I should probably look at what time it is. Um, what time is it? It is twenty one fifty five. Okay, so see you in a bit. Also, it was like no install options at all, which I sort of expected because I'd never really remembered seeing them on newer macOS installers. Okay, so Yosemite's installed, so if we go into here, 
Let's see this sets, Greg. Unfortunately, I can't really tell you how long it took. Thanks to me being an idiot and using my iPhone that I'm filming with. Um, yeah. Okay. Can I remember the password on the top of my head? Well, let's try. Okay. Keyboard's connected. Mouse, once again, not connected. Um, absolute typical Apple moment there. Like, seriously, what is wrong with um, the setup? I'm trying to think what the password is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um. That should be the password. Why not? I've made a mistake. Seeing it's taking it's at the time, probably I have made. Stick. Do I actually click the Wi-Fi? Oh, well, hang on. Taking my own hands. Okay. Mm, skip. Yeah, I agree. I definitely read all of that. And... His name and so on. No and no. Did, wait, was the top one checked? We'll say wrong Mac. Boo, this isn't a widescreen iMac. It's the good old classic. 16 by 10 iMac and look at that looks like it's disabled like transparency feel f feel free to argue oh is the default wallpaper for Yosemite any good I'm gonna lean towards the yes um I, I do kind of like it um This isn't like ten ten or is it like ten point something? Okay, yeah, it's ten point ten point five. Um, I'll change the name of the disc. Ow! I'm going back to standing up. Um, I can't think what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, I think it's hidden in accessibility for some reason. Hmm. No. Okay, maybe not then. Um, let's scale down the dock. I hate how big the dock is by default. Well, to a mag magnification. Okay. I think um, I'm going to have to have this video overflow into Friday, which I don't really want to do, but... Oh well. I've got two more versions of Mac OS. Then I'll probably try and do Windows, Linux, Haiku, all of that cool stuff. And hopefully it all works and hopefully installing one doesn't break another and stuff like that. It'd be cool to have Haiku on here, let's be real. Um use dark menu and bar and dock. makes it look so much nicer. I think that's why it looked really weird to me. Oh. Interesting. Um, ignore the other icons being broken right there. Okay. 
Josh. Uh, like the weird, awkward um, icons with like the things. Anyways, um, OS ten L Capitan. And I might um keep both. a bit so I'm in the process of getting chromium legacy installed to make my life a bit easier and also because I'm having certificate issues on Yosemite somehow so once I get chromium legacy that's a good sign probably um, also, I've got my Mighty Mouse here. I'll probably use instead of this. Because, oh my god, that mouse is atrocious. Why on earth did Apple be so hesitant? Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Uh. What's going on? Oh, there you go. Here we go. Chromium Legacy. Keeping dock for reasons you can probably work out. Oh, think to himself that you just like screen aside or not um uh oh it's not good so they, they didn't change the spinning wheel in Yosemite it seems which is really weird you'd expect them to but it is what it is Also, I haven't played, like, really installed anything apart from just different versions of Mac OS. So, let's go and start up disk and just have a look at this. Um, oh, yeah, I need to rename it. Um, I'm going to unplug this mouse. And I'm gonna chuck it. The cable sat. Oh, I think I've got one. I think that's the one that came with. Oh, I think that's the one that came with the iMac. I can't be bothered to pick that up, especially one-handed. Um. Oops. Oh, oh my God! The um firewire. Uh, I, I should probably stop filming. Seeing as how. Much better. The Mighty Mouse. I love the Mighty Mouse, by the way. Just so you know. Probably be more fair to look at this without the thing. What on earth is going on with Chromium? Force quit. Come on. I'm trying to think what version of Mac OS... I had in a VM in like 2017. Was it Yosemite or El Capitan? I'm pretty sure it was one of those two. It was something like that. And I couldn't, I remember, I couldn't get the internet to work. I don't know how that happened, but I just didn't get the internet to work. So I remember like just doing all sorts of stuff with like the systems. So I remember like just pinging every single item in the dock and it made like there's, there's so much stuff in mac os it's ridiculous um yeah stuff like that oh, it's really annoying this way i'll probably be better getting firefox esr also i believe this can run um roblox um i think it's yosemite 
Um, please, no. I think Roblox can run on Yosemite. It just needs... Um, I know it definitely runs on El, well, ran on El Capitan as of like a month or so ago. Yeah, I believe it's Yosemite it requires, yeah. Why is the web browsers like absolutely balked? At least for I'd be there like getting USB, plugging it in, stuff. Or I'd be better off just going on mountain line where I've got working. Chromium Legacy. Which is probably what I should probably do. So actually I need to rename the Yosemite install. I hate Mac OS Finder, just so you know. Um so you put it at the bottom. Where's the installer? Not that. Right. Um. Can't find it. If going to go, keep it out. Chromium's legacy is loaded. There we go. Also, I was a bit worried, I thought I had made it in and out of storage on my phone once again. At this rate, I'm probably going to have to edit this on PC. Exciting. It's more or less, I just don't go through the process. Also, that icon for the iMac is very weird. It's got like weird outline. Um, what does it want to do? Oh, yeah, get the... Secondary click. Is that how you? There we go. Um. Alex Ten Yosemite. There we go. Okay, I guess I'll try and get. In the wires trapped on Japan, yeah, absolute rubbish. Um, yeah, math. Should I try Roblox as I was saying earlier? It won't run well, I know that, but I can always show it off and log in and stuff. I'm pretty sure it works, unless they've changed it, which I might have. They've changed the system requirements. Woo. And I'm going to need a CPU upgrade because that is high Sierra. So I guess not. Um, too far, I could go on like Tiger or something and run PowerPC um, stuff. Um, so that was a waste of time. Oh wait, I should have not closed Chromium. Um, yeah, I want. Yeah, it's really. Oh, Captain. Ins installer. Web browser El Capitan. Oh, yes, yeah, not this nonsense. Um, it just doesn't want to work. I'll oh, keep. Did, why does it work when I do that? But when I click on it, normally it doesn't work. Oh, well, it's getting installed. And you know, just go wait for it basically. 
exciting. And that will be the second to last installer I need. Also, I think I've got a problem with my install disk and um, my install hard drive. I, by the looks of it, I can't actually get it much like newer versions of macOS because it requires GUID, I think, um, and that's Apple Partition Map, which is really weird. So, you know, I didn't think like Yosemite or whatever would change it. I've, I, like, I knew, like, Hi Sierra, no, no, it's Sierra, I changed it to APFS, but yeah, yeah, so the plan is, Il Capitan, then Mavericks, and then go to, um, something else, actually I could probably get an older version of them, Qubit Torrent, so if I just search Qubit Torrent for Yosemite, hopefully it will give me recommendation, or I could just go, I don't know, I can't remember if they say specify, oh this is up to down, go away, screw you. Um, for sub. Oh, there's actually a post there. Um, scroll down. I think I had like 4.4.2. No, yeah, 4. Point f or was it 4.22? Oh, I didn't mean to click on whatever I clicked. Um, I'll risk it for a biscuit. I'll go 4.20. Well, 4.2.0. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's pretty struggling with the RAM. It's only got 2 gigs still. I could just pull out the RAM from here for now, but I do kind of use this laptop. And I actually have been starting to run out of RAM on this. So, yeah. Um, Qubit Torrent 4.2.0. Please be good enough. No. What does this require? This requires Sierra. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to need to go even deeper. Okay, maybe it's like 4. Point three. Also, that says OS 10, which... It's a bit weird because it didn't go OS 10 to Mac OS 10, it went OS 10 to Mac OS. But if it works, it works. Probably does if it's named like that. Oh. Skip. There we go. Um, that's some quality software there, yeah, I could do that. Um, there we go. Oh. oh, okay, not this nonsense. Go up here. Um, security and privacy, I'll, I'll probably change the setting. Okay, anyway. Yes. This is way more annoying. I don't really know how to get Minecraft on here nowadays. Because my old TMC runs... However, you can't log into Microsoft account. In order to play Minecraft, you need to be logged in with, like, on multi MC, you need Microsoft account. Poly MC is based on Prism Launcher, which drops 
support for El Capitan. Who knows when it probably it probably didn't even support El Capitan. Um, like probably MC with two L's by the way, just to make it clear. Um, and that's like the launch, like fork of Prism launcher that lets you play Minecraft without an account. Um, but yeah. Also, hopefully, I've got enough storage for all this. Um, yeah, Probably, I think this with this, I will need to roll the clock back. Um, Yeah, 1st of November. Okay, Torrent. Yes, I agree. No, because it's not compatible. This should be faster than downloading it normally. Um, but yeah, has the, no, it's still not complete, it's, it's relatively close to completion, oh god, this actually seems a bit, oh no, I've got about 50 megabytes, that's not too bad. Of course, if I were to go to the Linux route, I know how to get Minecraft, I mean, it's just, you know, Pseudo get pseudo um Pac Man ish get um you know and get clone any other options or all slash pow I could you know not use pow to get rid of some launcher um and you know blah 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 you probably know the rules you probably know now I am very much a Linux user. Well, I really do like. Well, I I Mac OS is alright. I mean, I have. I like you know certain aspects of Mac OS. I'm not saying I like everything. Like you know. The unidentified, developer nonsense. Wonder if I can get OBS Studio. For use, Hemity. It's probably going to be a bit of an old version. Oh, it looks like they actually have a thing. Um. Apparently the last one for Yosemite is 20. How old is 20? Oh, I honestly couldn't tell you. 2017. Wow. 2017. God, I only started, you know, using OBS in 2016. And this was like, sort of, just when OBS Studio was becoming a thing, because oh my god, I'm just so surprised. I shouldn't be too surprised. I mean, the requirements now is big, sir. But I don't know, just surprised me. Although, and it wants my password, but um, I don't know. That's just ridiculous, I think that's, you know, Yosemite was only three years old, that's, you know, I mean, to be fair, technically it's not as bad. El Capitan can apparently do 21, um, yeah, here's OBS, I was just 
looking at the version, so last version for Sierra was 24, which is a lot more recent. I think High Sierra, 27, I think when I started using Linux in like early 2021-ish, 20, I, mean, I did sort of start in like, like December 2020, um, on my laptop, but on my desktop it was early 2021, I think it was like 26. It was that, so this is probably about 2021. I think 29 must be like 2022, maybe. Maybe that's a bit later, 27, than what I think it is. So it's weird, they don't like they could seem to increase, well, almost increase it with each version, which is really weird. Um. But yeah, just, of course it's not performing well, I mean this is a computer from 20, 2007, shouldn't expect too much, and also screen capture is like the most resource intensive thing you can do, and there's the webcam. Hello Gamers 2007 iMac here, um, blah 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 blah, the microphone's not plugged in, so it can't actually pick up audio, I could, you know, grab a microphone or whatever, but, no, I was just bored, <laughs> curious, curious, T killed the fox, um, is it still downloading? Um, thing looks like it is. <sighs> Why's the scroll wheel not working? Keep. Yes. I don't care. Oh, is it completed? Yep. And here we go. Um, I guess I'll stop recording because I'm low on storage on here. Okay, so here's the thing and there we go. Pretty still, pretty sure I've waited. Um, Automatically, it's. I guess. Uh, I'll leave. Leave. Um, Netflix to the absolute last. Just because. Yeah. Second time this has happened with Mavericks. Though, to be fair, it's actually way faster now. Also get stuck. Does it appear in startup disk? It's 
So this is a good question. Um, no. Close of applications. Keep Chromium and yeah, see you in a bit. Oh no, oh no, another line has appeared on the screen, but it's installed. It's about five past where I got it, and about probably a couple minutes ago, about, I think 27. So it only took about 20 minutes. Um, British, um, keyboards connected, um, saw it. Um, there we go. And yeah, I'll do this off camera just to save storage space on here. Okay, so I've got it sort of set up now. Um, I guess I'll go back into Yosemite, which is there. I have to unlock it. I'm joking. Oh, this is annoying already. Fingers crossed this works, but I think I've finally got Mavericks working. Um, it involved a lot of fiddling about, it really wasn't fun, and I absolutely wish Apple had it on it on their website. There we go, there's the Mavericks logo. And also Terex Mavericks by the of grey background, no texture, unlike what there'll be on Lion and Mountain Lion. But yeah, just this, and then this will be the end of the video. Exciting! Okay, so it's installed. Um, relatively quick and let's get all this set up there we go oh didn't mean to press that mavericks um that's nice has iTunes not been updated, but iBooks is, or did they not have the modern iBooks logo? I don't know. Yeah, I need have flat one. Oh yeah, I need to rename the disk, and then I'm going to call it there because this video is ridiculous long okay so I'm going to do small consi consistency change so go into here and I'm just going to rename this um, rename how do I I'd, I'd, it's always so fiddly to rename I die how there you go, I will, you know, so at the reserved spots as well, because there's a couple of those. But, look at this. Tiger, leopard, lion, snow leopard, for some reason El Capitan. I just realised lion's also out of there. Don't ask why it's out of order. See it's not even alphabetical order. Like, what on earth? I don't know. But, I've got it working. Hopefully you enjoyed this probably quite a long video. And, goodbye.